In our previous lecture, we uncompressed our Veritas cluster software package file. In this video, we will run a prerequisite script which comes in Veritas cluster to make sure our systems they meet the requirements to install the VCS software. First, we will go to the directory which we have extracted. So we will type cd and the name of the directory which is dvd one red hat linux Press enter key. In here, we will type ll for long listing. Here you can see we have two different folders. Since we are using CentOS 7, we will go to RHEL 7 folder. So I will type CD RHEL 7 and then press the tab key for auto completion. Press enter. If we do the listing in here, you can see we have installer script present in here. In order to run the installer script, I will say dot forward slash and then installer. Press enter. Now the Veritas InfoScale storage and availability solution install program has begun. At this screen, Veritas gives us few options to choose from. We can simply select the letters in front of each option to do the desired task. Since this is the first time and we want to do a prerequisite installation check for our servers, we will type P in this case. Press enter. From the list of available softwares, we will try Veritas InfoScale Enterprise. So select number four and press enter from the list of available products we will choose storage foundation and high availability which is number three and press enter here veritas installer is asking us to provide the server names where this veritas cluster will be configured so in our case we will type server one space server two press enter Installer is checking its initial communication. Installer is asking us if we would like to set up SSH or RSH communication automatically between the systems. We will say Y or yes. Then we will have to provide the password or the root password for other server. So enter the password and press enter. We wish to do the communication over SSH. So we will select number one and then press enter. Now it asks you to use the path of forward slash var forward slash temp. We are OK with it, so we will say yes and press enter. VCS installer script has begun setting up the communication between these systems. So we have to wait and let's see what comes next. Now the communication is done. The installer script is basically checking the required products and packages in our server. OK, here the installer is telling us it could not found few packages as shown in here under Perl socket and bunch of others we need to install it the installer can also install it for you if you have internet connection available on both nodes we will select number one to go ahead and let the installer install these packages in an environment where you don't have internet access to the enterprise servers in that case you will have to manually download and install all these packages otherwise you will not be able to continue with the vcs installation process here vcs installer script is trying to install the packages on both servers it's done and now it's asked you to press the enter key for continue again it's re-verifying the systems The installer script is done verifying the systems. We have a note about CPI warnings for kernel release. We will ignore that. However, additionally, the installer is also asking us if we want to install and configure this product on these two servers now. For now, we don't want to install it. Simply, we can select no and press enter key. Here it is asking if you want to clean up the communication between the servers. Since we will be installing the VCS eventually, we don't have to clean the communication links in between. So I will say no and press enter. If you wish, you can view the summary file. The summary file is generated under opt vrts install logs installer with the date and time. Otherwise, you can click on no and press enter key. 